Hi guys, what's up, Jason here, and welcome to my first FIFA 19 player review. So in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the 84 rated Juan Cuadrado from Juventus. So if you do want to go and pick up this card and try him out for yourself, you will have to pay anywhere between 2,000 to 40,000 coins on both Xbox and PlayStation. And you can also go and get this guy for free right at the start of Ultimate Team. If you do choose the right mid position when it asks you to select a lone player, you can go and choose Cuadrado, and that's how I managed to get this card so as you can see now looking at the in-game stats looking at the acceleration now 89 acceleration 93 sprint speed some really good stats there he's got the 91 agility was absolutely insane just such an agile player and also 84 shot power along with 80 long shots is very very nice but as you can see there he's got the orange stat in the shooting category and that just says 67 finishing and now one thing that you'll find about this card is his finishing is absolutely terrible and also i'm just trying to get used to fifa 19 with all the new finishing um, mechanisms and stuff like that but anyway guys I will talk more about that later on in the video so now let's get into the highlights so starting off the highlights now for Quadrado, we're going to get into his pros. Now the first pro I could find this card was his agility. Now as I've already mentioned, this guy has 91 agility, so it's absolutely insane. And he's one of the most agile players like that you can use on the game at the moment, just because you know there isn't any special cards. So probably after um, Quadrado, the next most agile player is probably someone like Neymar, you know, with the rounds. I think it's 96, 97 um, agility. So he's one of the most agile players on the game, um, just because we are, you know, in the early days of FIFA. Um, then after that, the next pro I could find this card was his sprint speed, and every single year, Cuadrado is just one of those absolutely rapid players. And this year again, he's no exception. He's got 93 sprint speed, what's also his key stat, um, as you can see there on the right side of the screen. And then he also has 89 acceleration, what is also very good. So this guy can reach his top speed pretty quickly. And then once he's at his top speed, he's very hard to catch up with just because he does have that 93 sprint speed as well. And then the final pro I could find this card was his ball control. Now, Quadrado has around 91 ball control, and you can definitely feel it in-game, especially when dribbling. He keeps it touched tight to his feet and is really hard to dispossess. As you can see there, and for that goal, he just keeps it so close to his feet, and the defenders just couldn't get anywhere near the ball. And now moving, moving into the cons, the first con I could find this card was his positioning. Now, as you can see there, he has the high medium work rates. Um, so he does have the medium defensive work rate, so what means he's a bit far back. I played him in the right forward position, I started him in the right mid, then moved him to right forward in game, and he always seemed to move back into the right mid position just because of those medium defensive work rates, so that is one thing to look out for when using this card. And then the final thing with this card is his finishing, is absolutely terrible as I've already said. In front of goal this guy's just not clinical at all because he has around 67 finishing. But anyway guys, this has been the highlights, now let's get into the overview. So now moving into the overview for 84 rated Godrado. So on the enjoyment scale, I'm going to give him a 7 out of 10. Overall, a very fun card to use. The only thing that let him down was that finishing. Um, especially when I did a few school runs and you know, I was in front of goal. And I probably should have finished them off. But with that 67 finishing, um, the goal usually saved them. Um, competitiveness wise, I'm only going to give him a 5 out of 10. Now the main reason is just because of his positioning and his finishing. And you know, when you play foot champs and competitive FIFA, you really do need those clinical players, especially a attacking players who can finish off the runs because you know you don't really get as many chances as you would in normal matches. Skilling wise I'm going to give this guy a 7.5 out of 10. Overall very solid skiller, really nice utility, really good dribbling and really good ball control and then I'm going to give him an overall rating of a 7 out of 10. So a pretty solid rating there for Godrado. Hopefully he gets a few informed cards and I'd really love to see this guy get a right back card, um, informed card just like he did on FIFA 18. But anyway guys, this has been the player review. If you enjoyed it and want to see more FIFA 18 player reviews on my channel, don't forget to leave a like on the video and subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you next time.